at another issue, food security. Well, the level of Nigeria's agricultural mechanization is among the lowest globally. This is according to the National Agricultural Technology and Innovation Policy for 2022 to 2027. Uh, this, it was published on their website of the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. Considering 70 million hectares of arable land in the country, demanding mechanization activities needs not less than 1 million tractors. Unfortunately, reports say it's just about 30,000 in the country at this time. Uh, we do not have uh, current numbers to confirm or refute that report to say if it's just 30,000 tractors. But we do know that uh, there's a death of uh, mechanized equipment for farming in the country. Well, let's talk to someone who is active in that sector, perhaps we can get a clearer picture uh, uh, this afternoon, the Managing Director of BD Acres Limited. He's Dr. Dalhatu Hamza, joins us from our Abuja studio. Uh, Dr. Hamza, good afternoon and thank you for your time. Uh, good afternoon, Any. So, um, I, I, we, I did see reports saying that we have just about 30,000 tractors. I want to believe that's not true, perhaps that's an old number. What, from your perspective, would be an average number, if we can, of tractors, or at least the equipment that we need for mechanized farming in the country? Um, actually, tractors are just the baseline in terms of mechanization in agriculture. We actually also need um, a land preparation equipment, which is basically the, the, the best thing that can ever happen to our food security sector or agricultural sector in Nigeria. At the moment, I don't have any statistics, but actually the availability of tractor in the country is really scanty in the sense that, and most of those tractors available in Nigeria are not really standard tractors. Recently, I think two states in the Federation have actually taken a lead or are in the roadmap of taking the lead on mechanization in agriculture, and that is Niger and Yobe State. Um, uh, the Niger State uh, governor recently launched his mechanization scheme where Mr. President went and launched it about two weeks ago. Um, the food security uh, program of His Excellency, the President uh, of Nigeria, uh, President Ahmed uh, Bola Tinubu, can only be achieved if mechanization is actually taken more seriously. Um, the Federal Minister of Agriculture recently sent a delegation to Turkey and at an expo uh, on mechanization, and we have several sizes of tractors and other equipment such as harvesters, planters, and uh, treasures that are essential in achieving um, agricultural mechanization. Um, let me give an instance where you want to start the rainy season uh, farming soon. Our land preparation, our land preparation generally is key to, um, to farming and high yield and subsequently for security. At the moment, that is almost absent in Nigeria. We need harrowers, we need tillers, we need plows, we need land clearing equipment in the country. At the moment, very few, if any, except probably some few uh, private farmers that own this equipment. So, um, we, we, like you said, there, there are programs and policies. And of course, every state does have Ministry of Agriculture. Um, even here on, on channels, we've talked about um, how some private sectors, you know, try to make that their own investment and business into all of this. But in spite of all of that, we have uh, numbers here saying that hand tool technology is about 70 to 90 percent. So we still have a lot of subsistence farming. Um, we have uh, the cultivated land by drought, animal power 
is about 10 to 25 percent, while mechanical power is about 5 to 15 percent. So obviously, um, we do need capital. Um, apart from the problem of insecurity in the country. We do need capital in this area. Uh, and we hear a lot of programs like the ones you have named, but we still don't seem to get the effect. Or are we too much in a hurry, expecting there to be results from some of those policies? Um, now let me say at this stage that the federal government uh, agricultural policy is the most excellent policy ever designed for the country. But the fact is that a subsistence farmer cannot easily afford uh, mechanized equipment. There must be a concerted effort. I remember at one time we were trying to um, uh, actualize the cluster system of agriculture in the country. That has not been achieved in the past. But the way forward for mechanization at the moment is a cluster system of agriculture where you bring in together a cohort of farmers with common product and they produce massively in a large scale of land on a commercial, sustainable, and only around uh, farming where you can deploy as much mechanized equipment as possible. Even if it is on a rental basis, the government intervention is key at this point. Mm. Would you say that should be from the local or the state government to organize this cluster farming? It should be at all levels, from the local farmer in the village where uh, they can be organized. Already, a lot of uh, farmer association exists in the country. And they actually go down to the grassroots level, which they need to do more. For example, I know the Maize Association of Nigeria, the Ginger Farmers Association, just to mention a few, uh, CSM Seed Association and the rest. They need to go down to the grassroots and organize them more. Um, last week, to be precise, on Friday, the Tomato Association held uh, a, 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 a national conference for the first time. And uh, we did a white paper for them and suggested to them that they should actually uh, go into the grassroots and organize uh, farmers uh, at various levels to enhance uh, commercial scale and attracting industries in the tomato industry. Another thing about uh, mechanization is um, 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 what you call um, irrigation system. Irrigation systems allow you to actually do more than one cropping uh, season in a year. And that is very key to what I, uh, food security can achieve in the country, especially now that the federal government is giving all it can to make sure that Nigeria is not left behind in terms of food availability. What about the private sector? Isn't there a way the private sector can help uh, accelerate this, especially when we talk about going down to the grassroots? Although I do know the private sector will be more, you know, uh, driven by profits, which can be a deterring factor for uh, those at uh, the lower side of the, of the ladder. Yeah, the, the private sector actually are key. In fact, they are supposed to take a lead even before, before the government uh, intervention because um, farming is profitable, no matter how you look at it. But you have to take it at commercial level. If you take farming at commercial level, it's highly profitable. So the, and, and, but also, I would like to mention that our banks, our commercial banks in Nigeria, are not, and I repeat that, I are not actually assisting the local farmer or both private uh, and, and, and the grassroots level to actually enhance uh, his, uh, his farming methods and also see it as a business. The banks need to do more. Yesterday, we had a meeting by chance with one of the banks. I wouldn't mention the bank, but I'm sure they're hearing me. And we 
talked with the topmost management and told them that they need to look at farming as a venture because they just collect money and lock it up in the bank. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to the country. They need to participate actively. And each bank now in Nigeria has so-called agricultural officers that go around, I don't know what they do. Because we have not improved the way we do farming today in the country. We need to do more. The bank need to come up, they need to wake up, they need to wake up to their responsibility in terms of agricultural intervention uh, in the country. Mm. And on top of all of this, we are still dealing with uh, the shortage of FX. I, I don't know, I do know that um, uh, there was a young man in Plateau State some years ago who makes some of this farm equipment, but most of it will be imported into the country, and that poses another challenge uh, for this uh, population of tractors and other equipment in the agriculture sector. Um, well, actually, um, we have a lot of local fabricators, and they do help a lot. But when you're talking of importation of agricultural uh, input equipment for mechanization of our uh, agricultural sector, the government has a policy of 5% uh, uh, charges on agricultural uh, equipment. Um, it's a bit difficult. It needs to be more uh, uh, simplified so that, so that people who are into this sector can find it much more easier to bring in the right equipment into the country. But also we have an opportunity, particularly in Turkey, where we're talking with a lot of companies that are very willing to either come here and set up their assemblage, but and also train uh, our local uh, uh, experts or skills to, to help in the driving of mechanization in the country. All right, uh, Dr. Dalhatu Hamza, Managing Director of BDA Cares Limited. Thank you so much. And this is a conversation we will continue pushing until we get uh, food security in Nigeria. Thank you very much.